Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator with a coronavirus outbreak. outbreak. Uh, oh well. We've got uh, biologists over there we have to pick up. And we're going to bring them. I'm not sure where are we. Woo! This thing needs a bit more power. Hello. There's three of them. Okay. And Julia. Well, two of them and Julia. Captain, we need to be in Canyon City soon, so we'd better get going. Okay. How do I say certainly? There. Oh, wait. It's only her? And Kim, I suppose. And two other passengers. Yeah, there we go. No, it is three of them. I guess there's two of them in the same place there. I don't know. We're inside. Let's head to the canyon. Alright. That's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Um, why can I not save my throttle? Why can I... What? No. Throttle, please. Oh, because I'm in a different menu. Okay, okay. Come on. I gotta wait for that bar to go. That's a bit annoying. And... There. Deliver the biologist. This is pretty cool. I've never had more than one passenger on board. I hope there's gonna be, like, big passengers mod modules for uh, larger ships. So you can actually transport many people at once. And make money that way as well. That would be cool. But yeah, like I said, my dream would be like an MMO where it's stuff like this, where people are actually building frontier outposts and they need, you know, people who transport passengers and cargo and stuff. I mean, that would be... Of course, it's a dream. It's most likely. What the hell? Anyone hurt? Let's get down that frequency. That was weird. Please, who's doing that? Uh, yeah, it's it's just a w wishful thinking because most likely not many people would be interested in playing just a transport. Because when you have a game where you can choose, for example, from I don't know, military fighter pilot or uh, captain of the space cruiser, and then you have the transport pilot. I mean, how many people are going to choose transport pilot? I know I am, but, you know, at the same time. <laughs> which, which is kind of cool because that means that transport pilots will be in very, very big uh, um, demand. Which is good for people like me who like to play support classes. But at the same time, eh, usually games just won't do stuff like that, I suppose, because they know there'll be a huge shortage. And in the end, they'll probably just nerf jobs like that because there's not enough people playing them, so the economy cannot really work. I don't know. I know it kind of works in um, in EVE Online, I suppose. I mean, there are transports there, but it's only the really big transports for the, for the PvP guild and stuff. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I want a PvE game like this, about building and stuff. Transporting, that would be cool. But like I said, never mind me. Wishful thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, full power. There we go. Oh, wow. That's cool. Another new area. We are everyone. Oh, it's the place that uh, what, and I need. I appreciate it, Captain. <clears throat> Could you please let me out? No. That was fast and not scary at all. Thank you. Stop by later. We will have some assignments for you. Oh, do you know where Romula lives? Actually, never mind. Okay. What was that all about? 
Did they all leave? I think they did. Yeah, they did. What's going on? What is that? That's weird. There's also no other sounds now. Weird. Alright, so... Well, we need to go to Canyon Central to recharge. Yeah, a lot more agile now that we're uh, pretty much down to below the default battery value that you get with the Scarab. I suppose I could uh, switch the Scarab over for the Elena again. This thing is so easy to park. Okay, so they got nothing else for me. So we'll go and switch over to the Belena again. what other jobs they want from us. Probably something that requires a scarab again. <laughs> oh no, we didn't know. Then we'll go to ships and we'll change to the to the Belena, to our mall. These are other activities. There we go. Let's use it. Oh, instant. Okay. What happened to my battery power? I recharged last time. It's a bit rude. I love that sound. <laughs> right. Heavy TR2 water. Well, how much do, how much is it selling for? 31,000. 39,000. That's far away. Uh, seaweed. Actually, why, why don't we take... Wow, that doesn't sell for a lot at all. That's kind of... That really is very bad. Let's let's go have another water run, I suppose, even though we should we should be doing quests. But yeah, let's let's go do a water run with these batteries. I want to see how they will work. So let's go there. Power Key level, it's well, it's okay. It's not too bad. Gotta get some speed. Power. More power. I mean, not slow down, but I'm gonna reduce power. Make sure that AR mode is not being an ass. Oh, look at that! Almost 500 meters a second, almost half a kilometer a second. I mean, that's that's fast. Yeah, this is pretty good. We've got some tailwind as well. Reduce our power just a little bit. Man, this thing is nice. I think it's also down to the improved lift of the wings now. We need less power. There was something on the table before we left it. What? Okay, false alarm. Man, this is an alpha version. How good is this game gonna get? I really hope they don't stop just stop development one day. 
which is a very real dangers with, with uh, danger with indie games, but especially with a, ga with a game like this, which is a niche game and uh, hasn't gotten its Kickstarter funding. I'm still, I'm still heard about that. But people weren't interested in that. Big shame. Look at this. Oh man, I know we're we're empty and we've got a nice tailwind, but look, we can go for 440 more kilometers at the speed and the uh, charge. Well, probably not, probably less, but still. This battery is awesome. And this music is awesome. I wish there were some strobes, some positioning strobes as well. And I wish you could uh, turn it on and off. Also, if there's going to be a proper day and night cycle, well, I suppose it's not really required to have uh, landing lights because you've got AR mode. But still, kind of nice. But yeah, what I really want is a air traffic control. Of course, if you've got a lot of traffic and air traffic control, not just, uh, you know, spaceport or, I suppose, I don't know, airport uh, traffic control, then you want to really have the freedom to fly wherever you like. You will have to adhere to certain routes that they will give you and so on and so forth. But, I don't know, I mean, you know, that can be fun as well. We're still accelerating ever so slightly. This thing is awesome. We're not even at a half energy, and we're almost there. I'm gonna reduce my power even more. There we go. Is it just me or is the ski level redu uh, reduced? Well, we are gaining altitude ever so slightly. I'm actually going to cut my engines now because we're so fast. And the port is already over there. So we need to start thinking about uh, slowing down. Unfortunately, flaps seem to get really ripped apart at these speeds and... Look at our shadow over there on the right. Yeah, that looks cool. Water is six tons, so that's quite a bit of the extra charge. But we will try to do this in one go without recharging. Probably a very stupid thing to do, but we'll see how it goes. Most profitable. Yeah, where I am into. There we go. So 200 kilometers. We should be able to do this, despite the extra weight. <laughs> Let's do it. Power! 200 kilometers. Oh man, these engines are really powerful. Alright, doing the stupid thing. I'm gonna go into flight mode right away. Power! Perfect. 
Perfect. And there's lots of space here for you to do any sort of maneuvers you need. Our range is increasing, despite the fact that we have a headwind, unfortunately. Let's get our altitude. Still on full power. Many pilots, just want to know that it's my seventh contract in a row, and then I'll be gone for a while. Gonna miss my steel dragon. When did you sleep last time? Actually, it sounds like you deserved it. Okay, reduce power to around 500. Wanna level out? Come on. Level out, please. There we go. Yeah, we've got a quite a strong headwind, but our range is about 500 kilometers, so <laughs> uh, we're going to do this in one go and have energy to spare, I think. This is awesome. If we didn't have this very strong headwind, well, fairly strong, we would be there even faster. Stable, three kilometers. Okay. Still losing altitude. Should be getting to the mountain ranges fairly soon now. This is so nice. I know I'm probably getting excited for nothing, but it's just awesome when you get a big upgrade like this in games, and then you put it into practice and you suddenly realize, hey, I can do what took me at least one stop to recharge before and wasting time. I can do this in one go now. It's so cool. It's like if you're playing some kind of a mining game, and you upgrade your, I don't know, mining storage. And instead of having to go up, I don't know, every five minutes after mining, you can be down there for like 15 minutes and keep mining and you bring up a much bigger load. I know, I, I'm waffling, but... I just like, look at that, not even... <laughs> we've used about a good uh, fourth of our energy and we're... <laughs> We're almost uh, at a hundred kilometers away from the quarry MNT. This is awesome. Let me make double sure that, yep, C is still there, so AR mode is not lying to us. I think they fixed that, though. I think they fixed that. There we go. I think they fixed the AR mode not updating uh, landscape after a while. Because if you remember, in one of the episodes, I actually crashed at a critical point with one of those escape pods that I was carrying because I was in AR mode for a long time and back then with the bug the AR mode if you put it on it seemed to draw the landscape around you for a certain distance in a I suppose in a circle and then that was it everything else appeared like the ocean like there was nothing there even though when you turned it off suddenly you could see mountains be, uh, in ahead of you. <laughs> oh wow, we actually lost a lot of speed because of this headwind. More power please, 600 will do. And a little bit more altitude. What happened to the whole breaking the speed limit? I mean the speed of sound and the what? And then going fairly silent sure what happened with that. Wow, there's a lot of tailwind. But we're not even at half energy yet. Very soon, but not yet. This is awesome. I love it. So basically now we can make some real money real quick. And wow, I cannot believe we can use so much money for upgrades and stuff. 8,000 credits. This should uh, get us back. Oh. Look at that. We're about... There we go. Halfway now. But we're 
well, not almost there, but quite close. Don't want to go too high, though, because of the ski level. People are skiing up there. We gotta, <coughs> we gotta give them peace, you know. Leave them in peace. Yeah, but I see that the the AR mode has a problem that almost every game like this has. Once you start using it and you realize that your vision is not affected by clouds or, you know, and you see the wind chart and you see the ski background and everything, you rarely use the normal vision anymore because look, I don't really see, well, I, s I thought it was on the altitude there, but no, oh, well, it might be, I don't know, anyway, yeah, you rarely use the normal vision anymore, which is a shame, because a lot of the times these games look quite interesting and pretty, in normal vision, okay, so I assume this key level will be drawn on the uh, altitude there, let's see, increasing, oh, it's gonna go down now, so I gotta be careful. A cyclone is approaching. No, not now. I mean, the water won't get uh, damaged by it, but I really don't need a cyclone. Though. Good afternoon, Captain. We have an unusual job for you, but I'm sure you'll like it. Come to Canyon Central where you'll get a chance. Okay. So where did they say? Two kilometers, right? Right? They should be fine, then. Look at that. We still have plenty of energy. Well, plenty-ish down more. And we're almost there. Nice tailwind though. Oh. I don't want to lose my radar right now. I don't really understand these forecasts that much. Oh, they say below two kilometers. Okay. Okay, we gotta be careful now because we're quite fast. Cut my engine soon. In fact, I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, see? I see practically nothing. Whoa. I gotta be careful about my altitude as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good at all. That was a interesting maneuver that happened. But it felt pretty good though. As in, felt pretty realistic because I did ask a lot of the wings. All right, there it is. Man, we did this in one go. I love it. So despite the extra seven tons of the battery charge, we could still do this in one go. Awesome. See, look at how awesome this place looks with, uh, in normal vision. Okay, there we go. Money, please. Because you guys are really desperate for water, it seems. You know, I realized I almost never look at the thing on the right, but it is quite helpful to uh, position your ship. Oh, that was cool. Alright, show me the money. Show me that money. 123. I love it. Alright. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this Let's Play as much as I do playing it. I will see you next time. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.